Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use a dashboard in Asana. So the first thing you want to do is when you're going to be have a project, you want to click simply on the dashboard or add a dashboard and then simply you can add a chart. Now, you have a option to add a chart and you're going to find the total tasks by priority here. And you have a chart style of a line. A burn up donut number lollipop so I can add a line here or column or donut then you can change the priority the x axis pretty simply and also the y axis so time to complete custom fields cost So you can really like choose it as much as you want. But task, task status, you're going to have a task count here. So then you could press create. And what you can do here in a dashboard, you can then simply move and edit it as much as you want, right? So I can remove the chart. I can add a chart. I can add just number and I can have value. So let's say revenue, right? And then I would press create. Now you can always add a filter if it's going to be a signee. So let's say I am going to have my own CRM and I want to have just my own deals or let's say I have a CRM and I want to have it with a company. And I want to see all the deals from that company. So what I can do, I can simply add a number and then have it by custom field or by assignee, right? See, when it's only me, it's 1,250, but other than that, it's 2,060. Then press create. And in the moment when you're going to create it, you're going to have it in your chart. So this really depends what do you want to actually have in your, in your dashboard. I can add a chart again here. And I can add a burn up, right? I can add a number. I can add a lollipop. Even that is fun. And you're always going to see uh, the X axis, the creator, the task type, completion status. So that's something you can do and you can easily create it. Now, of course, uh, you can have the pre-created dashboard here. So that's interesting. And I don't know what else to show you guys, because this is pretty much it. So this is how you can use the dashboard. And then uh, you can easily the sum of 50% of success. Again, I can add a chart. Let's say I want to have a donut and I can have a group of completion status, incomplete or task status, upcoming unscheduled or by section to do, doing, I can press create and voila, here I have it. So That's pretty much it, how you can do it and how you can operate with it. So this is pretty much it. I hope it helped you somehow how you can use the dashboard in Asana. It's nothing that really difficult. So thank you very much guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great day and see ya. Bye bye.